Governor Dakpo Abiodun of Ogun State says worship centers are to be reopened tentatively on August the 14th. The governor also said pupils in exit classes, that is primary 6, GSS 3 and SS 3 are to resume on Monday, August the 4th. According to the governor, the churches and mosques are to obey all the COVID-19 guidelines handed down to them. He stressed that any worship center that disobeys the laid down rules would be sanctioned. Speaking on school's resumption, he said there will be two weeks revision classes for SS3 students in order to prepare, prepare them for the West African Senior School Certificate examinations starting on August the 17th. According to the governor, there will be the contamination of schools, establishments of sick bays, provisions of infrared thermometer, running water, among others. He said any school that fails to comply will not be allowed to reopen. And joining us live now, we have Remy Hazan, who is the senior uh, SA to the Ogun State Governor on Media Public Communications. Good to have you, Mr. Hazan. Uh, good morning, and thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please tell us more of, on what informed this uh, decision by the State Governor. Uh, for the uh, exit class resumption, uh, is more to do with the fact that quite a number of uh, these uh, students uh, made payments to the various examination bodies, and these examination bodies are independent. Uh, failure to write those exams means that a lot will have been lost, and a good number of those who even made payments are from the private uh, uh, schools. Uh, it simply means that uh, if we can find a way around it to ensure that there will be safety uh, for the people uh, who are returning to schools by making adequate protocols that will guarantee their safety, uh, exams can be written. More so, exit classes just form a fraction of the entire school population. It then simply means that we can have uh, some uh, reasonable level of social distancing in classes. It even gives the teachers... Uh, the uh, opportunity to have a lot more hands on all the uh, pupils. That's exactly why uh, we feel it is safe to return. Of course, the protocols are there, which uh, you captured some of them in your uh, report. That's for the schools. Uh, for the religious uh, worship centers, uh, we are a peculiar state. Uh, we, we see ourselves as the the spiritual headquarters of the entire continent of Africa. Because all the big churches are here, uh, whatever affects uh, worship centers uh, here is a reflection of what happens in the whole of Nigeria. So we've been very careful on how uh, these religious worship centers are open so that we will curb and contain community spread of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And now that we have come up with protocols on how they can simply reopen starting from the 14th of August, I want to believe that uh, it will be a test case going forward. Right. If, if, if we may just stay on the school reopening, just like the federal government also directed final year pupils and students to return to school, what more can the state government to do? What more can the state government do to help these students, you know, to perform well, in this, given the circumstances that we have now? That's the essence of uh, resumption before the takeoff of the exam, so that a uh, sufficient level of revisional classes can help uh, prepare these students. Don't forget that as a state, we are the first in the whole of this country to start the DG class, the online classes, uh, since March. And that means that these students have not been idle ever since schools closed. Uh, whatever they are going to do now will just be a recap of what the state government has continually done through the online DJ classes, which are state-owned uh, TV station and radio station have also been part of. So for our students in Ogun State, I think uh, they are already better positioned to write these exams. I mean, if I may use your words, uh, you said Ogo State is the uh, uh, spiritual headquarters of the country. Now, the worship centers reopening, how practicable can the compliance level be ensured in these different uh, worship centers? 
Well, we have a committee of which I'm a member, uh, which will see to the enforcement of the protocols that are laid out, uh, some of which include no face mask, no entry into church premises. Uh, there must be a reliable source of uh, running water within the church uh, premises. Uh, there must be regular decontamination before and after every service. Uh, so supervision of multiple uh, hand washing uh, points in such a way that there will be social distancing, and there must be uh, uh, alcoholic-based hand sanitizers. Toilet facilities must have running waters. And of course, any point where people sit or stand uh, during the service must be such that uh, ensures social distancing of not less than two meters. And no church is permitted to have more than 200, and services should not exceed 90 minutes. All of these are some of the protocols that we have put in place. And the Christian Association of Nigeria, Ogun State Branch, is in uh, a partnership with us on this, just to ensure that uh, compliance is guaranteed. And when we observe this for some time, we will see if we need to uh, relax or further tighten uh, this protocol. Mm -hmm. That's where we are at this time. All right. Uh, Remy Hazen, uh, essay to the governor of Ogun State on media and communication. Thank you so very much for your time with us and your contributions. And we say do keep safe out there too. And thanks for having me.